and articulation skills. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about business speaking and articulation skills? What do you think about? So it's very much focused on speaking better, articulating better. So this is not just general communication. We're really looking at the mechanics of speech tonight. So uh, how we can pronounce, how we can articulate, how we can deliver the uh, content that we have to deliver in a better package. Uh, so that's really what we've got in store uh, this evening. <coughs> so when we think about articulation, when I'm articulating to you right now, what am I doing? What do you think? What am I doing when I'm articulating to you right now? But, and let's break that down. What exactly am I doing? How am I articulating? Speaking, good. How am I speaking? In a clear way. In a clear way. So let's look at that then. What makes the speaking and the communication clear versus what I'm speaking? Voice. Voice. Okay, the voice. So the voice. And, and how do we actually use our voice when we speak and when we communicate? Okay. Yeah. So it helps if... if uh, different tone of voice. Pardon? Different tone of voice. Yeah, different tone of voice to communicate. Yeah, interesting. What else? What, what do we use in our voice to make it interesting? Like, uh, low and high pitch. Yes, great stuff. So pitch yes. is quite important. So pitch being high, low. Okay, so pretty basic pitch. And of course, in our sentences, in our in our communication pieces, we will vary the pitch. We'll actually have a bit of a look at when do you vary your pitch? What words do you hire the pitch on? So we're really trying to break it down to the mechanics, if you like. So our sentences, our words, our syllables, how we can isolate and really acknowledge particular things that are crucially important when we start to think about our articulation. How do we describe things and what words might we use as well? So this is part and parcel of what we're talking about, our articulation, our enunciation, our pronunciation. What ways do we use? So as well as those things that we've just started to talk about, how else, as well as the pitch and the tone, what else am I using to articulate? Body language. Body language, great stuff. Body language. Lovely. Particularly when we're face to face, we're going to have that body language piece. What else? Eye contact, yeah, which is part of body language, eye contact. What else? Hi there. What else? What do you say? What else? What's the difference here? First is if I speak like this. So absolutely. Loudness, volume. So what's the appropriate volume for us to use? Sorry about that, everyone. I hope it didn't wake you up. Okay. Well, you know, what's the volume that we would use? What's the appropriate volume in a meeting at work? What's the appropriate volume in an interview? What's the appropriate volume when you're presenting? You know, how do we know what's right? I suppose. So our, our pitch, our highest, our high and our low, our volume, and then what am I using right now? Words. Words. Yeah, and words. And what else? Yeah, a bit of questioning. 
and some pausing. <laughs> right? So when we ask a question, we pause and we stop. To, uh, to what? Why would we pause after we ask a question? It's funny, isn't it? Yeah. So the, the use of silence when we communicate, we often don't think about that, how powerful silence can actually be. Let the silence do the work. And a good interviewer, if you're going to go for an interview, a good interviewer will really use that very well. Get you talking, get you sharing, by just using silence. <coughs> so the words, the tone, and the, all these elements, the volume, the pitch, the pause, and of course our body language. So how much, if we think about this body language, how much is expressed through our body? How much of a message? If we think about a message, can we communicate with being 100% of the message? How much comes through our body? 70%, 70 what do you think? 70 to 80%? 50%? Any other takers? 75. 75, I love it. Let's just go in the middle. That's plain safe. Great stuff. Here you go. Here are the elements of communication. Our body language. 55% of our message is expressed through our body. 38 through what we've just been talking about, our vocal tone, our pause, our pitch, our pronunciation, our articulation, our volume. And the little old words that we use get 7%. This is according to Moravian, according to Bird Thistle, sharing us um, a bit of an insight into how we communicate. So when we think about that 55% in nonverbal, I'd like you just in your rows, please, just with the part, I just have a bit of a chat. I want you to come up with five specific things that are covered on that nonverbal body language. So we've already mentioned eye contact, which you've given me. So you have to think of five other things apart from eye contact. How we actually communicate through our body. What are some specific things that we do with our body to communicate? So in your rows, please, to, and if you want to hang out with these people, this row, this row, and if you want to talk to the right. Five things. Over here, this group, one thing. What is this? Hand, hand, hand gestures, great stuff. And hand gestures, thank you. Over here. Expressions. What sort of expressions? Of facial expressions. Great. So, can you give me an example of a, of a facial expression? Yes. <laughs> You're very good at that. Really. <laughs> <laughs> or a smile, just like you've done. Yeah, lovely. Great stuff. Over here. Posture. Posture. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it makes, it makes a huge difference when you think about it in a meeting or something like that. You, you're sitting slumped, you know, you aren't going to take you seriously. And, and no matter what you say, no matter how good it is, so nice straight posture, or where you're sta when you're standing, I don't know, when, I, when I deliver workshops, I always like to have the feet right under the hips. Because if you're like this, <laughs> it looks a bit funny, doesn't it? Well, I see this all the time, people get up here and get a bit nervous, or either that or want to go to the bathroom, I don't want it. <laughs> and they stand like this. <laughs> and of course, it's just saying, Sending you a message, 55% saying, I hate this, I'm not comfortable. Mm. And it's really interesting. Yeah, well, this posture is very important. What else? Um, I think you know, the same thing. So I'm, I'm going to come back to you. <laughs> yeah, five things to come. I've only mentioned three so far. I'll come back to you over here. Something else? Um, sitting as well. Sitting. What about sitting? Yeah, if you are, um, like, for example, you've got to lean forward. Lean forward. Yeah, yeah. It shows you are inches. It does. Absolutely. So this is what we talk about, leaning forward with the torso, the upper body in particular, rather than moving away. And it shows listening, it shows attentiveness, and shows interest. Right? Great right one. Beautiful. What else? What about over here? Clothing. Clothing. Absolutely. Interesting. What are you wearing? How are you wearing it? And this could be very basic from, what do your shoes look like? What, yeah, are you, are you having a nice collar, like this chap here? I'm not, I'm not commenting, you know, I'm just sort of... <laughs> Depending on the right environment, you know, so it's just about wearing something that fits and suits the audience and the environment. Obviously, we're in a very casual environment tonight, but I'm thinking, were you in work today? Oh, yes. There you go. Yeah, lovely. <laughs> Great stuff. So clothing, it's, it's, it's so obvious, but it's actually crucial. What else? 
Anybody else? Just four of you. Mm. You came up. Did you give me one already? Hi, just, yeah, just, just thank you so much. Just think if, if um, while speaking, if you like this, yes. it shows that you are basically not comfortable. Uh -huh. You're close. You don't want someone yes. to come What if you're cold? Sorry? What if you're cold? <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing, yeah. And eye contact, eye contact is yeah. one of the other things yeah. that's really important. Right. So this is really interesting. So, so when we think about body language, the arm, arms folded can, of course, suggest an image like, okay, watch out, I'm going to get you. Mm. <laughs> or I'm closed, so I'm not interested, or I'm not, I'm not open to hearing. But what if you are actually cold? Well, what if this is a seriously, what if this is just a comfortable position for you? Does it mean you're closed or could it mean comfortable and cold? <laughs> you're comfortable. Yeah. So how do we know? How do we know when we body when it is communicating a closed message? Eye contact. Mm. Eye contact, nodding, head, yeah. and giving some expressions in between. Okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> it looks like the person is. You married? I've <laughs> <laughs> got two kids. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to give you I'm really outside. <laughs> so you are married? No, no. Not married, but yeah. <laughs> But have a partner. But I've been good kids. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? So when we think about body language, we think about what we call clusters. What do I mean by clusters? Clusters. They're right because my funny accent can be called. Clusters. Yeah. <laughs> clusters. What do you mean by clusters? A group of behaviors. That's exactly it. A group of behaviors. That's exactly it. So when we think about body language, let's not get too carried away with just one thing. <laughs> yeah? Let's think about what the entire body is saying. So arms folded, torso bent, twisted away, legs crossed. Then we can start to look at the face and just see what, what is the overall message that I'm being sent or that's being communicated to me. And then you make a better decision. Yeah, and make a better decision. What do you think? If you were thinking of the head to the toe, which part of the body communicates the most accurate message about how someone is feeling? Which part of the body? Head to toe, face, eyes, eyes hands. hands. Okay, so well, that, that's, that would be in the vocal variety, which is very important. We're going to have a look at that. When we're thinking just of this body language area. Toes? Is that what you said? Toes, yeah, interesting. It is indeed the feet. So, um, yeah. <laughs> and again, it's the most accurate message about am I open, comfortable, or do I want to be here, am I nervous, all those sorts of things. If you're interested in checking um, this out, have a look at Joe Navarro's work um, on this, and he specifically looks at the feet and the, the use of the feet in body language. And he talks about the feet being pointed towards where my, my head is focused, and the feet being in the moment, present in the moment. And, and a little simple thing would be, when you're in your internship next, just stop someone in the corridor that you want to talk to, and you think, oh, I want to talk to that person, they, they've got some information I wanted to find out. And just see, do they, and they're walking along the corridor and you're walking towards them and you, you stop them. Do they say yes, yes, or do they say yes? Does that make sense? Because wherever their feet are is where their brain is. <laughs> and it's really interesting. This is where we can start to think about saying things like, have I got you a good time? Is this an account of time? Is there a better time for me to discuss this? And the person would say, Yeah, that's what I can talk now. And the feet point and the feet say, I'm here, I'm with you, I'm switched on. So we think about that and we think about the fact that our feet can communicate a huge amount. And you'll see that just summarized there on page 
page one of your notes. <coughs> so yes, and this is really uh, it in terms of our body language. Am I saying yes? Am I saying no? Am I, am I open or am I closed? So we have our feet apart, heels together, legs apart. All of that's just all about the bottom half, which as we've decided is most important. Torso towards the person, shoulder back, head upright, chin forward, a gaze, not, not staring contest, but a nice comfortable gaze. And then leaning forward, as opposed to all of the messages there which say no or turn away. <laughs> so trying to get that right as much as we possibly 